Are you looking for some cheap, fast and reliable coins? Yes. Then go check out my friends at FIFA Coins FC and use the discount code SHOCK for 5% off your order. Yes. What is going on lads? It's Electric Shock here yeah, and today I am bringing you guys another player review. So today we are going to be reviewing that second inform, Jeremy Menez. And I do want to mention that I won't be uploading another four player reviews per team of the week just because I've got another series coming out. You'll see what that will be in the next few days. So I'll probably upload two player reviews per week. And yeah, we'll wait till that team of the week. Anyway, Jeremy Menez, he cost me 47 and a half K. I played five games with him, was it for 14 goals? And let's get into some of his in game stats. So he's 27, 6 foot. He can play on the right or left wing. And he, of course, must have played for centre forward for Milan in real life. He's got four star skill moves, four star weak foot. And here are some of his best in game stats. I will read out the best ones 88 ball control, 88 dribbling, 81 penalties, 85 acceleration, 85 agility, 88 sprint speed. 85 positioning and 81 penalties. Now, Jeremy Menez, he is possibly the best centre forward on the game. He just suits that role so good. I might, I might make a video on the false nine sort of guide thing. I'm just planning something about that. I'll see if I do. But Jeremy Menez, he just fits that false nine so perfectly. The 87 pace, the 87 dribbling just combines to make him an awesome player. A 77 shooting. It wasn't bad. Some of his shots weren't the greatest, but his finishing was high enough. I didn't think to have one of the best shots, but it was pretty good. It was usable and could definitely get some goals. But the main stats about him are, of course, his 87 pace and his 87 dribbling. You just glide around defenders and sometimes goalkeepers. His passing was pretty good at 75. I don't know if I got an assist or not, but either way, his passing wasn't too bad either. Four star skill moves and four star weak foot, that just makes him such a good centre forward. That is what I love on my strikers. And that's basically it. The good things about him is his pace, his dribbling, his ball control. The ball hardly leaves his feet. You can get, the only way you can get it off him is by slide tackling him or stand tackling him. There are some cons about him though. The only two big ones, well actually three, but the two smaller ones I guess, were his long shots and shot power. I didn't really see them at all, so don't really bother taking any long shots because there is something there to be desired. And his shot power wasn't the greatest, there were more finesse shots I'd say than power shots. So it wasn't too bad, but it was just a little bit low. And his work rate's medium high. It does not suit the striker role at all. So I'd probably recommend, if you're going to play him top, definitely put him at center forward by himself. Or maybe Cam. He probably would suit the Cam, even though his passing is a little bit low. But I would recommend playing Matt center forward in a false nine. So I hope you guys did enjoy this review. I'm going to give him an 8.7 out of 10. He's one of the best players that I've used in a while. He's very fun as well. I think if he gets that upgrade and becomes an 83 Raider player, he's going to be so good. And I might even review that, or maybe not review that, but I'll try that out if he does get an upgrade. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. I would recommend putting this Manus into your French squad or into your Serie A squad. Hope you guys do have a lovely day. There'll be a new series out, and I'll speak to you guys later. Goodbye.